Hello guys, I finally decided to create this channel in order to help people understand how they should think when it comes to betting. There's so many people out there who ignore the basics and so many others that struggle and lose money every day. Everything starts by accepting that you're not a winning better, and by winning better, I mean not winning once or twice, I mean by winning in the long run. The truth is that I got inspired by some YouTube channels with some experienced professional bettors for which I'm going to speak in the near future. So, what's this hype all about? Machine learning and artificial intelligence? And how is it connected to sports betting? According to my understanding, machine learning is when a software takes data of any kind and uses statistical models in order to answer certain questions. It gets trained by the time and the more data that is coming, and every time it comes with a more probable answer than the previous time. Artificial intelligence, though, is somehow the same, but the questions or the workflow of finding correlations in data is somehow automated and in most cases very hard for the average mind to understand. How is it connected to sports betting? We simply give data and ask questions about sports and particularly betting. So, who am I? I'm just a guy with around 10 years of betting experience with engineering background, I come from Greece, but I live in Sweden, so excuse me for my English and especially for my pronunciation. What's the purpose of the channel? The purpose is primarily for me to use it as a logbook. I mean, posting my picks and my bets by explaining the procedure to you. Eventually, after some time, this will be used as proof, and in the long run, I hope that people who follow me will understand the concept of not losing their money, of course, bet smarter and in the end create their own Excel files or algorithms to be able to succeed by themselves and stop following other people's random picks. So let's start with how professional bettors win. They start with the most important thing, which is bankroll management. An easy way is to always bet the same percentage of your bankroll, uh, half, one, two or five percent. The harder but shorter way is to follow and bet a percentage of Kelly's criterion. If you're interested in that, just Google it. So the second thing they do um, is that they collect valuable data, often by scraping websites they trust. So you can see a Bet Explorer here, or Reference, or in Soccer Stars, there are many. Uh, then they use a statistical model like linear or logistic regression, and they find correlations among the stats. It all comes to making their own projections and then comparing them to the market values, for example, bet 365 odds, and in the end finding the expected value. They aim for an expected value between 2 and 10% in every match. That means in 100 matches, they earn 2 to 10% of their bankroll. So let's see my personal approach on this. I start by using some kind of progression, and I know there are many of you, and I also agree with that, who are against Martingale, Grand Martingale, Andy Martingale, or any kind of doubling the money when losing. But everything comes to the calculated possibility of having a losing streak, and by saying losing streak, I mean losing 10 times in a row. But even on this extreme calculated scenario, I have a debt managing method that I follow. The purpose of this whole thing is not to go up and down all the time, spend so much time and in the end be at zero or minus in your bankroll. Every winning step will grow your bankroll. In 36 winning steps, our bankroll should be double. So you can see one of the tabs that I use over here. So for example, this will be tab one and we start from a thousand kroner. This is our bankroll right now. And then we target for a profit of 2% of this. So it's going to be like 20 kroner. And um, here you put the odd that you're supposed to find, let's say 2.8, that means that the amount of money that we should take, we should bet in this multiplied by 2.8, it will be 11.11. .11. So if we find an odd that it's like 3, the amount of money that we should stake should be 10 kroner multiplied by 3, it gives you back 30 kroner. 
but you have already bet a, a 10 kroner, so the um, amount of money that you earn, the profit, could be 20. So 30 minus 10 will be 20. So let's suppose that you lose this bet. Then you find another odd, let's say 2.7. So you're supposed to bet 17.65 kroner, multiply by 2.7, and you're going to get back 47.65. Minus 17 minus 10, so it's like 27. So you still have a profit of 20 kroner. So this is how it goes. So in the long run, you're supposed to be able to lose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times over here. And in then you have to bet that amount of money in order to earn this amount of money. So it will, this will be the 10th time or 11th. This amount of time, this amount of uh, money back, so your profit will still be this one. So every time that you win, you go up 2% of your bankroll. So let's say that you don't find good matches or you're not very sure or you're afraid to bet more. So what do we do? When we come to the seventh time, we have like a safety, um, safety let's say, option. Depth management mode. So this here, this number here, is like the total of the amount of money that you have already bet. And we take it there. So what we do with that? We just split the amount of money that you lost. So the depth to recover in four parts, 56.95. And then you have like four times to lose. So we do the same thing, but we split the amount of money that we're aiming for into four different ones. So we have to win one uh, up to four here, one of those four here, one of those four and one of those four. So you, you should be very, very unlucky. And according to our probabilities, um, through the um, uh, winning percentage of the artificial intelligence software, um, this is, it can happen, but I think it's very, very hard for this to, to happen. So then let's say we win. Our next bankroll, we should be 1,000 plus the 2%. So if you go to the second one, you have it, 1,020. So the new target profit is like 2% of this. So it's gonna be 20. So we follow the same procedure. And then the third and then the fourth. So the 10th winning step, it should be, we should have in the bankroll 1,000 195 kroner. So if you see it here, if we start for with a thousand kroner on the 36 steps, we're going to have 2039. If let's say have a hundred bets, winning bets, the amount of money should be 7,244 crown. So this is when I mean you for every winning step, you grow your bank. You have a risk of losing all your money, but we have a calculated scenario that we can lose. How do I collect my data? I have certain websites that I cannot reveal from which I scrape the data I need through Python and Excel. You can have a look here. So you can check here, I have an Excel file for every league that I want to follow and I want to analyze. And then let's say this is Premier League. Um, I have my feature table. Um, I have several tables that I download automatically with queries from specific sites. And then I also have the um, schedule in which I'm taking over to my algorithm and I make uh, the regressions and generally all the statistical models that are needed to be done. Then I run seven statistical machine learning and AI models on the same data. Each model values the data differently, but they all come to the same answer. So I use Excel and compare and filter the models according to the winning percentage. And finally, I come up with the most probable answer. So this is my projection. 
here you can see the ranking. Um, then I use my projections and find my picks. For now, I will use Bet365. My expectations are to double my bankroll in 36 winning bets in less than a month, but doing it for a whole season. <clears throat> You can follow the procedure through my videos. I will post the projections, my picks and the bets that I'm going to have. And the next betting day, I will post the results of the previous time plus the picks and bets for the next time. So the plan is to start with a thousand kroner because I'm in Sweden, that equals to 100 euros. Double them in one month to 200 euros. Double them again the second month to 400 euros. Then double them for a third time uh, on the third month, probably, to 800 or 1,000 euros. And then, each of the following months, that means 4, 5, 6, and go on, uh, each of the following months to double to 2,000 euros and cash out 1,000 euros. So the goal of the year should be around 10,000 euros. So I know it's not the easiest thing to do, but if you want to be successful, you need to put in the work needed Get the necessary knowledge from your mistakes and bet wiser next time. So good luck everyone and let's have a fantastic season.